Hey guys, this is Alex from Calisthenic Movement. You were asking us to do a tutorial about handstand presses. And in this video, we give you some tips and advices how you can train and master the handstand press. I hope you get some useful information from this video. And now I wish you much fun watching it and much success to achieve your first handstand press. For handstand presses, we distinguish the bent arm press and the straight arm press. For the handstand press with bent arms we have a smaller lever and the triceps supports the movement. Therefore this version is slightly easier. In this tutorial we will focus on the execution with straight arms and show you how you can learn this move step by step. With the straight arm handstand presses there are also different ways to perform this move. On one hand we have the handstand press on the ground and on the other hand the handstand press on parallels or parallel bars. If you have the goal to do a handstand press with fully extended legs, you should focus on your mobility and flexibility. The closer you can keep your legs to the body, the less you have to lean forward and the less strength you have to apply for this move. Before you begin with the handstand press workout, you should of course be able to hold a clean straight handstand. It would also be beneficial to be able to hold a tucked planche for about 10 seconds. Let's start with the exercises. The pike lean is good to practice the feeling for the weight shift and balance. So lean forward and try to shift the weight on your arms and shoulders. At some point your feet lose contact with the ground. In addition you can work on the wall with other exercises. On the one hand it is possible to use the wall as a support for negative head suppressors. When you walk along the wall with your feet it takes off some weight and you need less strength but always remember that you have to lean forward when walking down. On a wall you could also work with positive presses. Therefore you press yourself as high as possible and shift the weight on your arms and shoulders. If you have mastered all these exercises you can work on the next level with negative handstand presses. You have to start in a handstand position and go down slowly. Again, it is important to lean forward when you go down. If you can't control the handstand to 100% yet and need a lot of tries to stand straight, you can also practice against the wall. Remember that you can't go too close to the wall because you need to lean forward when you move downwards. Another good exercise on this level, this time on parallels, are the tuck planche presses. You press yourself up from the support hole to the tuck planche. At this level you are not able to do the full press to a handstand, so we only work with a part of this move. This will build up the necessary strength and also the feeling for a full press. But the goal should be to press yourself up as high as possible. At the beginning you are allowed to perform this movement with some momentum. But when you get better, you should perform it more and more slowly. As a final exercise, we show you the assisted handstand press. Just do the handstand press by starting with your feet in an elevated position. Because your legs are now further away from the bottom, you have a shorter way to the top and need less strength. I hope these tips will help you to master your first handstand press. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I wish you much fun and success. Bye, Alex.